What is up guys? Binky49 here. We are back on the desolation map. And we're back in Chinatown. Oh baby. Just when you thought it was safe to think about new builds on new parts of the city. No, we're going back to Chinatown, guys, because we've got a lot of work to do here. It's going to be a lot of Chinatown on this channel in the future, so get used to it, okay? You know, every building is different, so don't worry about that. But I'm working on this corner building today. I started this building on Bean Builds to Beats this week, where I announced some bad news. Some sad news. Not bad news, but some sad news. There's only one more Bean Builds to Beats left. Oh no, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna end it at number 50. Lucky number 50. And man, what a what a great experience Bean Builds to Beats was for me. You know, probably in all my YouTube days, probably the least watched series that I do. Um, but my favorite series, I think. Probably my favorite series. Favorite to make, favorite to watch. Favorite just to to share with you guys, and it's coming to an end. Uh, I figured 50 was a good number, a good number because no one really. I say I hate to say no one. There's like 50 of you, 50 of you or so who tuned in almost every week to watch it. And for those of you guys, if that is you, then I really do appreciate your support on that channel and that series. Excuse me, because. It was my baby. It was my favorite thing to do, and you know, not a lot of people watched it, so had to end it. But thank you to all those who who watch it and who paid attention to Bean Builds to Beats because uh, we had a lot of we shared a lot of good music. I feel like, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. So tune in next Sunday for the very last episode. I'm gonna do something special. I think for for number fifty, I got a song in mind already picked out. So I think it's gonna be cool. We'll see how you guys like it. It's a long song, so I got a lot of... Anyway, I don't want to tell... Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today, we're working on this. I worked on this on Bean Builds to Beats, and I'm going to continue now today on the interior. This is a bank. Ah, uh, you wouldn't tell from the outside. You couldn't tell from the outside because I haven't put any sign up. I don't think I will put a sign up simply because... I don't know. There's not a lot of space. But yes, I, I was looking through my pictures that I took of downtown Chinatown, and one of them was the Bank of America. And so it looked a lot like this. Not a lot, but it looked a little bit like this. And um, it's hard to tell it's a bank, isn't it? Right? It's a Chinese version of a bank. We got a little ATM machine here. That's the ATM machine. I wish I could put Chinese lettering. Chinese letter. I mean, I'll, I'll do some research, see what kind of lettering I can fit in, in my spaces, but there's not a whole lot of space, so I don't know. Uh, and this bank is really small. Speaking of no space whatsoever, this bank is teeny weeny. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use my vertical space, make all this offices and stuff. Several offices, in fact. And I'm also going to go underground, and I'm going to build a vault. A very small vault. But a vault nonetheless. And in this vault, of course, you can find money. What else would you find in a bank vault? I mean, come on. Okay, I don't know what we'll put down there. Who knows? Maybe we'll make the bank vault open. You know, there's a lot of TNT in Chinatown. So maybe some entrepreneurs, some young entrepreneurs were, you know, they found some explosives and they're like, hey, there's no guards around in this post-apocalypse. Let's see if we can break into that bank vault. And, you know, of course, they were going for the money when, you know, everyone else is going for the canned goods. So they probably died with a, a whole bunch of money and no food. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Is what I'm thinking happened to these guys. Isn't that uh, just about what you would expect in the post-apocalypse? I think so. I think so. So there's going to be a teller here. I'll probably make a door to the outside, like a door like here. I've been doing a lot of doors to the alleyways. So yeah, that'll be like the employee entrance. So don't worry that this is all blocked off. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to put glass in the way so that the only people who are gonna get back here are the ones that know that they can break glass. Remember, we're playing in adventure mode and if you don't know how to get past this, then it sucks for you. But for those of you who do know how to get past it, you're gonna be rewarded with a whole other you know all that above us and all that below us right otherwise you're not gonna be able to get in there unless you too find some tnt which is a you know complete possibility in this tiny town that we're living in <laughs> okay there's tnt everywhere should we have we'll have like a, a desk you know when you set up a new account you got to go to the desk so we'll have someone's desk here 
They got a nice big desk, right? Change the floor a little bit. Oh, I got a scratch. Ow. <laughs> Always when you're trying to record, that's when the itches, scratches, burps, hiccups, that's when they all come. I don't know if you noticed that. Only when you're recording, though. Uh, or when I'm recording, I should say. I don't know. Do you record? Do you guys have channels? Uh, how about this, okay? One thing that I've learned in my YouTube experience is that it is so hard to start off on your channel. If you got less than 100 subscribers, you were just floundering, right? So I've always said that, you know, after I started in YouTube and I noticed that a lot of YouTubers really didn't like it when they, you advertised on their channel, uh, you know, I think that's kind of very egocentric. It's very self-centered. You know, people are starting out like you were starting out too at once. And what better way to advertise your Minecraft channel than to other people who play Minecraft? You know what I mean? So if you guys want to advertise your mind if you have a different kind of channel altogether i don't know but if you're trying to advertise if you got a minecraft channel put it in the comment section and uh you know explain maybe what you do on your channel or it doesn't have to be minecraft really i don't care whatever channel you're doing okay you can uh, you can advertise on my comment section i don't mind i don't mind at all really i don't see how that hurts me in any way it benefits you it's just silly how many youtubers get offended by that it's like you're not the center of the world, you know, and you know, if, if you've developed a following of people who might be interested in something, like, why are you trying to uh, stop them from experiencing something new? And, you know, this goes with my whole mentality of being builds to beats. And, like, one of the issues I was running into was that a lot of these songs are copyrighted. And, which means, even if I'm, not, like, the video's not monetized, I don't make any money off of it, but they wouldn't let me use their song. And... It's like, what? Well, I'm not trying to profit off of this. I'm trying to expose you to more people. You being the artist, right? So I don't understand the selfishness that goes, uh, you know, with a lot of people. I don't get it. So yeah, if you want to advertise on my channel, I don't mind. Uh, one thing is that uh, you got to be careful with your keywords, though, because I think it'll detect certain keywords and then put you in the spam folder. And then I gotta like approve it, uh, which is no big deal, but sometimes I forget and you know, I don't know. So, you know, be careful with your keywords, I guess. <laughs> because I guess YouTube detects certain words and then it'll put it into the spam folder if it detects the right words. So, yeah, I'm not selfish, guys. I know that there's only like a, a you know, a few people who watch this series regularly. And you're not reaching a whole lot of different, you know, huge audience by advertising here. But who am I to say that you can't, you can't uh, try to share your creativity? As long as you're being creative, you know? If you're being creative, by all means, let me help you to uh, grow. Because I'm here to support creativity, honestly. That's something that this world is a little bit lacking in. And uh, I think the more creativity we have in this world, the better. So if you're, you know, taking time out of your life to make something, by all means, let me help you. And uh, hopefully maybe we can um, get you a little bit more, expo a tiny bit more exposure, right? A little bit, at least. Uh, you know, I'll do what I can. I can't do much. All right, so there's that. Let's go through this doorway here. And of course, as always, I'm not apocalyzing Chinatown just yet. So I'm gonna, I feel like, or at least maybe I'll just do this block and then apocalypse. I don't know. I haven't really thought too much about it. I'm just building away, guys. Building, building, building away. <laughs> and so uh, I ain't got no time for apocalyzations. Ain't got no time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. This, I feel like, needs to go. You need to go. Okay, wait, what is this? Oh, okay, that, you need to stay. <laughs> you need to stay. All right, walls, I gotta double skin my walls because that's what I do, guys. I always be double skinning, always be double skinning. Always be double skinning. Okay, we'll go with black on this one. I don't know why. I gotta remember to leave space for a stairwell. Maybe we should do that first because the stairwells are always tricky. We need it to go up and down. That door may have to get moved. So let's uh, let's pretend that this is double skinned. Let's see here how much space we got. 
And we gotta go up to this floor, up to that floor, and then down a floor. So we'll use this. Say the door's here. So how's the stair? Stairs are the toughest things in Minecraft. I always have trouble with my stairs, guys. We can go back and forth, or we can go. Uh huh. I'm perplexed. This is gonna be tough. There's not a lot of space for stairs. Oh no. I may have to do this off the camera. Yeah, dude, this is gonna take some tinkering. I'm not gonna waste your time with that. I think that means, what that means is we're gonna have to end this episode here because I don't wanna waste your time with something that I'm not sure of, right? So let's just uh, save that for another day. Why did I get rid of this again? I don't think we needed to do that. Why did I do that? Oh, it's because we're gonna, okay. I see why I did that. Hmm, hmm. What we'll do is like this. There we go. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe can't rambled on long enough. What did we talk about today? We talked about Bean Builds to Beats. Put in the comment section how you feel about the closing of Bean Builds to Beats. Were you one of those people who watched all the time? And if you were, put in the comment section so I know who the ones watching Bean Builds to Beats were. Go check out that playlist. If you want to like vibe out to some music, or if you got nothing to going on today, <laughs> then I'll just play that playlist. You don't even have to watch the videos. I mean, the music's so great. Music is the best, guys. So uh, you don't even have to watch the videos. You just kind of just listen to them, really, if that's if that's your thing. But if you want to watch them, you get to see me build in super fast motion. I thought it was a cool deal. I don't know. I'm sad to see it go. But, you know, put in the comment section how you felt about being built to beats. If you watched it all the time, let me know. If you didn't watch it, let me know why. I, I mean, I'm, it's just a learning process. And I want to know why sometimes things fail because then I can learn from them and try not to do that again. So... Uh, your feedback is very much appreciated appreciated at all times. I really do appreciate you guys and for sticking with me. And uh, be sure to, if you want to advertise your YouTube channel, put it in the comment section. On this video especially, I'm going to be sure to check the spam folder to make sure everyone gets counted for. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's going to be the episode for today. Chat it down. Coming through. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.